how I negotiated $65,000 off the asking price. Hey guys, it's Gary Wong from GaryWongRealty.com again. People know me as the Christian Realtor. I'm also the author of the book on Vancouver Real Estate and one of the directors for the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, Vancouver Westside Division. Today I want to share a story with you of how I was working with my client and I was able to get $65,000 off the asking price for my client. We had been working with this client for over a year. Originally we had looked for a property maybe a year ago and we found a property in Coquitlam, we wrote an offer, but dur during the home inspection it was discovered that there were some parkade membrane issues. So my client wasn't comfortable with that, the seller didn't want to renegotiate the price, so my client just walked away from it. And then the mortgage rules changed and it made it much more difficult for my client to afford what they wanted to afford. So they rented a property and we, we stopped looking for real estate for about six months. After six months, they contacted me and we started looking for properties again. And then I found a property that might work for them. So this property is in Burnaby, close to Low Heat Mall. I called the listing agent and the listing agent didn't really want to show their property. He mentioned that there was a special levy going on and it was going to be a giant special levy and he was wondering if my clients uh, would be okay with it or something like that. I said my clients would be interested but they got to see it first. So he was very resistant and he said no I'll make sure your, your, your client can get financing and all that stuff. I said well my clients can't make a decision until they see it and like it. So finally after a lot of pushing back and forth I was one of the very few realtors who was able to get into that unit with my clients. The listing agent really didn't want to show the property. They kept mentioning that there was a special levy and it was going to be a large amount and he said make sure your clients are okay with that. I said why don't you send me the strata documents, let me take a look. So the listing agent sent me the strata documents, there was an engineering report, not a depreciation report. So the difference between an engineering report and a depreciation report, a depreciation report is when the strata hires a uh, engineering company to come in and they basically do a home inspection on the entire building. They don't go into every single unit, but they basically take a look at your the building condition. They look at the strata fees, the contingency reserve fund, and they and they say based on your strata fees and contingency reserve fund, are you able to pay for the expenses coming up based on the age of the property? Well, your windows, they only got 10 years left. Your balcony has got about five years left, etc. Your roof's got 20 years left. When, after 20 years, based on your strata fees and contingency reserve fund, will you have enough money to pay for that? If not, you have a couple options. Do you increase the strata fee? Do, do you have one big special levy later? Or do you have some small special levies? So depreciation report outlines that. An engineering report is where a strategist hires an engineering company and the engineering company just does an evaluation of the property, maybe the roof or something like that. Anyways, there was an engineering report and it's done on all three buildings. It's a three concrete high rise complex and about 337 units. And the results of the engineering report said that they would have to fix the building envelope, the roof, the piping, the balconies, the windows, basically everything. So the levy that they suggested would be about $30 million. So what happens with these is that Estrada hires the engineering report, the engineering report does their work, suggests, and suggests how much it would cost, but it's up to the Strata what they want to do with it. So typically Stratas would hire a second opinion or a third opinion because $30 million is a lot of money. In this particular case, the strata did it. The strata just said, oh, okay, thanks, $30 million, we'll think about it. And then nothing was done. That was done last year. So bring it back to now. I went and saw the property with my client and I thought, this property isn't in that bad of a condition. So I, like to myself, I thought to myself. And I told the same thing to my clients. And then I talked to the listing agent and the listing agent said, well, the sellers actually received a notice from the council saying that, you know, if your unit, if they approve the special levy, this particular unit, the special levy would be approximately 
$62,000. And I said, wow, okay. But they haven't approved it, right? Yeah, they didn't approve it. In that case, I said to the listing agent, what is the seller going to do with that? Long story short, I was able to negotiate the price down $65,000. So this property was priced at around $300,000 and I was able to get a $65,000 discount for my clients. See, this property was priced at $318,000. I looked at the comparables in the area. They were selling at $40,000, $50,000 over tax assessed value. At that time, this property is tax assessed at $300,000, probably worth around $340,000. So I was able to negotiate $65,000 off the asking price. So the accepted offer we got was $255,000. And then I knew the condition of the building. It wasn't too bad. We brought in a home inspector in. Home inspector was like, you know, I read the engineering report, Gary, but it's in pretty good shape. And usually with special levies, stratas don't just, even if they approved it, they're not just going to throw us like a, a large special levy for every unit because a lot of the homeowners would just go into foreclosure because they can't pay that large special levy. So usually they have a payment plan and usually they don't fix everything. So just because it says $30 million, you don't have to be afraid of that. They don't have to, they're not going to lay down the special levy in one shot. Usually they just fix one thing at a time and make sure that homeowners are happy. So as a result, home inspection completed, minor issues, buyer was pretty happy removing subjects and I was able to get this property for $255,000. About $100,000 under what market value was. Moral of the story, I think I was able to get my clients a great deal on this property because we, we pushed forward. Even though the listing agent tried to scare us away with the special levy, I said, no, we want to see it, we want to see it. And I got my clients into the listing where other realtors didn't were scared away. I saw the opportunity and I was able to convince my clients of this great deal and I negotiated the great deal. We went through a lot of different lenders to get financing, but at the end of the day, we were able to close the deal. Once again, this is the Everything Real Estate channel. If you have any comments or questions about real estate, whether you're buying, selling, or investing, comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and share it with your friends. Gary Wong from GaryWongRealty.com and until next time, God bless you. Thanks guys for watching my video. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Email me if you have any more questions. Thank you.